Hello everyone. <clears throat> this is uh, Grandpa Ron. I salvaged uh, some more video from my dad's old 8mm movies he took when we were in Hawaii when he was assigned there in 1958-59-60 time frame. I thought it might be interested in seeing what the National Cemetery of the Pacific, commonly called Punchbowl Cemetery, looked like back then. These films were taken with his little 8mm camera on Memorial Day, I think 1959, give or take a year. And um, quite an elaborate celebration of life for um, the families. They would come out and spend hours decorating the the graves of their loved ones. Tons of flowers. It was just amazing and it looks as though that's still the case now. I looked at uh, recent videos of Memorial Day services and it looks even more grand than back then. It's nice to see that our fallen are not forgotten. Daddy took some uh, videos of different fallen from, oh there's Ernie Pyle, the great writer and reporter, but he took other videos of uh, those fallen from Alabama and Georgia where we grew up just randomly. Huge crowds would be there, busloads of people. Uh, this is a little early so it's not quite as crowded as later in the day but you can notice when the camera pans around that you can look back toward Diamond Head and you don't see very many buildings down in town. You look the other direction back toward Tripler Army Hospital, the same thing. So there were tremendous views of Honolulu from the high spots around the cemetery. I'll also notice that uh, this cemetery was relatively new so the trees are pretty young and small. They don't dominate the uh, landscape at all. I think the cemetery itself was dedicated in 1949 and uh, here you can see what it looks like today, 50 years later. I finally talked my wife into going and 50 years, 52 years later, this is what it looks like. The mature trees, a peaceful setting, very well maintained. Of course on Memorial Day it's crowded just like it was back in 1959, even more so. There's Tripler way off in the distance. Here's Diamond Head. But it's just a beautiful spot and so many tourists and people that visit Hawaii uh, never take the time to go up there, but it's certainly worth it to I think there's over 56,000 fallen veterans uh, up there, buried up there. This Honolulu Memorial, I think that's what this is called, wasn't built until 1966. So you don't see it in the earlier f uh, film my dad took, but I wish I had better pictures of it. I, it has all of the uh, major campaigns and the number of casualties. Uh, it's just a phenomenal memorial. 
again just a great look back toward Diamond Head at the city and panning back over the cemetery itself I really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the comparison. I also want to remind you to remember that uh, while these guys died for their friends, Christ died for us when we were enemies. Keep that in mind and I really hope you enjoyed this.